good morning. I thought I'd uh, show you some stuff around the farm. This is the neighbor's dog. Say hi, Sonny, say hi. He came over to say good morning. He's a good boy. Good morning. I'm getting ready to uh, plant some Oyas. Thought you guys might be interested. So I applied for um, a under advantage farmer grant through uh, Slow Food St. Louis. And they were gracious enough to give me a portion of their grant, which they uh, supplied me with some tools, some compost, some hoops, and uh, covers, and just some tools that I need to get it done. Well, I'm getting ready. I, I tilled this one up and I'm getting ready to plant in it. I'm gonna plant in that one too, but I'm gonna plant in that one over there as well. I have some here that I've cleaned out that I'm just gonna add them in. I was gifted some plants because I didn't get live plants from them. I got seeds, but um, some other people in the that were gifted the grant as well had some live plants and called me and gave me some plants. So I stuck those in and I covered them up haphazardly. I haven't gotten them completely. I was wore out. I've been in the garden for two weeks getting it ready. And then I cleaned all this out. I'm gonna plant some beans back here. And I have some of the lettuce and the escrole and the, some of the chard and mustards in there that were gifted to me. I wasn't planning on growing the chard and mustard, but since I was gifted the plants, I figure, you know, God wants some chard and mustard in his life. So there we go. And then I'm gonna put beans all in here and let them grow. I have the red Roma, Romano beans I got from Kathy and Donald, and I'm gonna put those in here. And I um, got this bed I'm gonna plant in this one too. Looks like something's trying to dig me up, pre-dig in my holes for me. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to plant in here too. But those are going to be seeds. And that's what I'm going to plant in here too, seeds. So I've got two water systems I'm going to try because I want to see how they'll work with the, with the um, garden. So in here, I'm going to plant some Oyas. Uh, they're spelled O-L-L-A. And I bought a system of five and they run through a bucket. You refill the bucket and the bucket fills the olas and the olas are clay. They, um, through condensation and they water your plants. And then you just fill the bucket every week, supposedly, and it waters the garden. And this one's going to be it. And I'm gonna monitor that one with the ola. I also have a solar panel uh, irrigation drip system I'm gonna try. Uh, I think you have to supply a bucket of water for that one though. And the, and the light gets generated through the solar panel and then the other part sucks the water out. I'm not really sure, I'll let you know, but we're gonna hook it up and we're gonna see how it works. And it's gonna be in that bed and it's supposed to water 20 like household pots. So, but it goes into the ground three inches and it irrigates through the bucket system. Kind of like this one, but it's a solar panel. Somehow it pumps it. Okay, so that's it. And I'm getting ready to plant them and I'll show you how we're gonna do it. Now in the garden, I gotta put, I got five of the Oyas and I need to put five of them out here and I need to put them, space them because they only do so much uh, of an area through, through watering uh, the condensation way. So I'm gonna put one here and one there and one there and one here and one in the middle. Kind of like a number five guy. <laughs> but anyway, so you're just going to dig a hole pretty deep because the olas are pretty big. I'll show them to you once they come out here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and plant them. I'll do the center one first, and then I'll show you. Okay, I wanted to show you. Here's the ola. See the end of it? I already got a couple pictures I'll put in there, but I'm going to plant it. you got to plant it up to the top, and then we'll hook on the wires and connect it to the bucket. So I'll show you. Where I'm putting it. Dug the hole here. And I have hay in here. I did a layer of hay and then a layer of compost. You see the straw. Which, thank you, slow pizza. Okay. Actually, I think I might need to go down a little bit deeper. Just a little bit. There we go. And there it is. It's in the ground. 
I've got uh, two more to plant, and then I'll show you how we hook it up. Okay? Okay, we're gonna do it. So here's the bucket. We've got this right here, it's the valve. Push that in there and then shut off. We're gonna put this in there. We're gonna run it to here. We're gonna do it down here. And then we're gonna do that one, that one, and then the one right there, and then this one. And we're gonna set all those up. And we're gonna try and do it as quickly as possible. <laughs> Bye. hard to refrain from watering the whole garden. <laughs> then fill the bucket, put the lid on, and turn the nozzle, and all that excitement. How do we know if it even filling them up? I guess the bucket just gets empty. <laughs> All right, so we have the solar panel with the drip. What does it have? A, a filter that hangs into the water and then the um, siphon filter that siphons it into the wire. And then the wire gets... The panel is the pump. The panel is the pump. Yes. The panel is the pump. And it pumps out the water and it siphons through the wires and we cut them off came with these t's here these t's we you cut it off you put a t on uh, the hose on this side and this side and then you add this hose and then you put the little extension hose onto this blue thing which when you turn it on it will drip water down into it and it's about three inches long it is three inches long and then you just Stick it right in the ground like that. And we have several in here. So we're going to fill this bed. I'll show you. Good morning. I wanted to show you, I guess, the finished results of our uh, planting of the Oya and the so solar panel pump for the water system. Um, I ended up planting it. Here's the Oya, Oya system, and here's the bucket that it comes out of. Of course, it rained, but uh, there's the little nozzle, and there that. That's how that looks. And then I, we decided that we we would put the solar panel system over here uh, because the other one's so close to the street <laughs> and then here we go there's the bucket and the solar panel covered it up to keep the debris out which worked and then that's where each peg is it's a 20 plant it's supposed to only water one house plant so I got a 20 plant hose system and then I put it out there to try it now, also with the Olas, there's supposed to be a one plant per Ola system, but I'm putting mine in to do a pot, a whole bed. So I did a 20 of them for this bed with the solar panel. 
and it gets good light. I have solar panels over there that light up uh, the, the shed and the inside, and then one on the outside of the shed. I like the solar panels. I mean, I have one on my front porch that works. Uh, it's a motion one. I like it. I have uh, solar lights in my bathroom, which are really cool. Anyway, I'm getting off the subject. So that's about how it is. <clears throat> so, and then I'm going to plant some lettuces all along here. I'm still going to plant in that bed. I just didn't want to have contraptions all out there close to the street. I just wanted to be safer for uh, the bucket. So, anyway... You know, y'all keep get your garden going, and hopefully in the fall, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get hoop systems for these and cover them up when the when I because I'm planting the seeds. I think I just can't decide if I want to do them, plant the seeds, and then get the hoop system and put it up. Or if I want to try and put the hoop system up and then plant seeds, but it's getting late and you know late in the season. So, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and oh mercy. getting late in the season and you know it's really just time to plant your your seeds so you don't want to wait too long because if you wait too long then you don't get anything and the frost comes and everything dies but if they're in hoops then see they'll last longer but I'm just I'm probably going to go ahead and plant them thanks for talking to me <laughs> anyway I had a chair that broke and I didn't want to throw it away, so I thought I'd do that. That's lemon balm and just a house plant. The lemon balm smells so good. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what I've been doing for a few weeks now. So you know what the deal is. Come on, mister, let's go in. Y'all stay safe, stay healthy, be nice to each other, and have a great day. Bye-bye.